I am at the Buried A-Frame and the Maple Flats Volcanic Site. Construction for this A-Frame home started in 1978 and on May 18, 1980, the home was about three days from being fully completed. All that remained to be finished was putting in the chimney for the wood stove and some upstairs fixtures. These were to be done the week of the eruption. The owners of the A-frame and the gold house behind me had left Maple Flats on May 17, 1980, not because of volcanic action, but for other personal reasons. Many of the people who lived in the 12 homes that were directly across the road were at their residences at the time of the eruption and were given two hours to take what they could from their home before they had to evacuate. They could not return after this period of time because it would not be known how soon the area would be inundated with by a lahar that would later take their homes and fill up the A-frame that you see right here. The A-frame was buried by the mud flow at about 5 p.m., almost eight and a half hours after the eruption of Mount St. Helens. Approximately 200 tons of silt, mud, water, and ash filled up the basement of the structure in the first floor. The flow had the consistency of wet cement and weighed two to three times that of water. The temperature of the flow was over 100 degrees as it passed from Maple Flats and headed for the Cowlitz River and later into the Columbia River. The mud flow did not head down the North Fork of the Toodle River Basin until about 1.30 p.m., five hours after the eruption. Two miles down the valley, the mud flow reached speeds of over 70 miles an hour. As it spread out, later passed through the area, it was moving at about 20 miles an hour. The parking area is about five feet higher than it used to be, and the A-frame uh, is about four feet lower in land elevation on, uh, than the gold house next door, which was surrounded by the mud flow but had no mud uh, inside. Anyway... Uh, the log in which you see to your right was completed inside the A-frame, breaking out the front windows and the door. As it broke down the front of the structure, it allowed the mud to fill the house. So let me kind of walk in and let you see this log that we're talking about right in here. Well, part of the log is gone, but you can get a pretty good view as to the consistency that they're talking about here. This is an interesting place. It's a famous location. It's a tourist stop now, and I find it interesting that this whole site, which is a souvenir location now for Bigfoot, I'm not joking you, Bigfoot, and the Buried A-Frame House is for sale. So uh, you can have a little piece of treasure at Mount St. Helens and the Buried A-Frame House if you come here. So one last final shot at the buried A-frame. An interesting story indeed. See you at the next stop. Bye.